Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of this, the Listening Experience Continuing Couch Tour. I appreciate you joining me on this musical journey. Tonight, another new theme and seven original compositions dedicated to expressing the meaning behind and within that theme. Tonight, our theme is essence. There are so many interpretations of what essence is and what essence can be. So I would prefer tonight to speak a little bit less than usual and have the music speak as it often does by letting you understand what I'm bringing to the table of this musical experience with my musical artistry regarding the theme of essence. The very first original composition dedicated to essence is a piece that I have entitled Fragrance of the Flower. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
that original composition dedicated to the theme of essence is entitled Fragrance of the Flower. Is that, in fact, the essence of the flower, even more than its physical form? The next piece, dedicated to essence, expresses the sense of everything being in conversation with everything else. But what is it that is conversing? Perhaps it is the essence. That's why I call this piece Conversance. Here is Conversance.
that was conversance. Now, one way of describing and hinting at the inner layers of meaning within this powerful word. What's powerful about the word is how powerful it represents as a word, the meaning, the expression of tonight's theme, essence. I call original composition number three, epitome. Thank you. 
That was original composition number three on tonight's program, dedicated to the theme of essence. I titled that piece, Epitome. I think the title of the next piece is self-explanatory regarding its take, its view, its orientation, its gravity to essence. I call this piece inwardness.
That piece was entitled Inwardness. Now, <clears throat> if you're like me, and whenever you hear the word essence, you think of, in some way, shape, or form, the bottom line, that may give you a clue as to why this blues, spiced, flavored, oriented piece that's up next in tonight's playlist of original compositions dedicated to essence is a piece number five out of seven called Bottom Line Blues.
That was the bottom line blues. Could you feel it? You don't have to answer that. We'll chalk that up to a rhetorical question. Are you familiar with the word apricity? I wasn't until recently when I found out that it's the warmth of the sun on a very cold winter's day. Talk about essence in a cold and cruel world, the warmth of the sun, the essence of what that warmth is, where it comes from, that it's always there to warm our hearts, warm our souls, through the long, cold winter's nights of the difficulties, the travails, travails. You get the meaning. You get the idea. So that's why I thought it would be appropriate to name original composition number six, Apricity, the warmth of the sun on a winter's day. Here's Apricity. Thank you. 
That was entitled Apricity. The warmth of the sun on a wintry day. There's essence there. I can feel it. Well, I've tried to distill some of the things that I think are at the root of the root of essence, tonight's theme. I could probably spend two to three hours not only playing but talking about how many ways we express essence. But let's try to distill it to its point of distillation. Are you getting an idea of what composition number seven, the last one on tonight's program, might be called? I think you do. Here is Distillate.
That piece was entitled Distillate. Let's recap. The past hour has been dedicated to sonically and hopefully very soulfully expressing the theme, Essence, I began with a composition I entitled Fragrance of the Flower. Then I played Conversance. That was followed by Epitome, then Inwardness. Then I got a little bit funky with the bottom line blues, followed by that beautiful word that expresses the warmth of the sun on a winter's day, apricity, and then distillate. I hope that this was a worthwhile listening experience for all of you. It's always a great honor and a pleasure to humbly receive this resonance and return it to its source through this now, in 2024, 100-year-old Steinway Grand Piano. May it bring you some inner strength, some health, some balance in the coming week so that you may choose to join me for a future edition of this, the listening experience. Until then, please take good care and stay well. And thanks again for listening. Good night.